This looks promising, and they're off and racing. The Ultima Handicap Chase, it's over three miles and a furlong, and they're quickly in towards the first fence. Many of them want a decent start here, and a blunder there by Southfield Theatre at the back of the field. And a slow jump, and a slow to get going as well, Spring Heel, as they go towards the second. Seeing them touch down, and in front, Double Ross emerges with Morning Assembly, and Holywell right up there as well. Shanahan's turn is handy, and the red cap on the outside. The young master chasing them with audacious plan. Then on the inside is Cruz Linen, wider out to Anton for two. Just behind these leaders is Theatre Guide with Fox Appeal on the inside as they take that uh, next fence. Algernon Pazam is in the middle of the field. So too in the green jacket as they race away from us is Bally Khan and the field already pretty well strung out. Beg to differ out towards the back. Regal Encore is tracking Carol's uh, Destria on the inside. According to Trev, Beg to differ in the middle of the field. Then Band of Blood is on the wide outside. This stage uh, out Sam is sitting in the top uh, third of the field. In fact, no, he's dropped down to the inside in fact now on that turn. He's last but one out Sam disputing that then with Spring Hill as they cross over the water jump, going a decent pace here. Jockey on board, according to Trev, is just looking down briefly there, but it's still Shanahan's turn out in front with Double Ross. Holywell right up there as well with an top or two as they take that. Anna Faller, audacious plan, has come down badly, Habers Regal on call, and Spring Hill has been unseated. Got hampered and lost his rider at that open ditch then. They continue on towards uh, fence number seven as they took that. Theatre Guide was a, made a slight error there, but uh, Double Ross keeping out of trouble. On his outside is Shanahan's turn. Holywell is between horses. Cruz Linen is next, then Morning Assembly. And Top or Two is handy as well. Cruz Linen on the inside with the Young Master. Fox Appeal is not too far behind these. They go towards the open ditch. Band of Blood on the outside of Algernon Pazam. Vector Differ is tracking in the middle of the field. Balikan and Theatre Guide. Then on the outside comes Katenko doing fine as they continue across the top of the track and uh, they're making their way down the hill now towards the next fence and in, out in front it's still double ross from shanahan's turn holy well and tom for two and cruz did it in a great position the young master morning assembly then comes fox appeal trapped by theater guide and bali khan wider out to algernon pazan with band of blood katenko well in touch too back to differ in the thick of things there regal encore trying to recover having been hampered is behind carol's destria out sam still very much towards the rear took that together there with O'Mainly is towards the back as well, doing fine, keeping out of trouble in the beige jacket on the wide outside as they continue down the hill now, and they're about to take the turn, which brings them into the home straight, having jumped nine of the 20 fences in the Ultima Handicap Chase. Shanahan's turn and Johnny Burt then and Double Ross together as they take the turn in the hands of Jamie Moore now as they race round past their point of departure and up now towards the next fence. Tracking them all the way, Double Ross got in tight there. On the inside, Cruz Linen is absolutely cruising. He's on the inside there of the young master. Right with them still is Holywell, who took that just in third place, and Tom two is next. Fox Appeal on the inside rail, then Morning Assembly, Valley Khan, Algernon Pazat. Oh, oh, back to differ to a false step, and unseated his rider. Beck to differ is out of the race there, having taken a false step, no chance there uh, for jockey Aidan Coleman. And the runners reaching now the point where they're jumping the next fence away from us. It's the 12th, they go uphill, and top for two, jumping that out to the right. Out Sam at this stage, having a real, real difficulty getting into the race. He's only got one behind him, and that's according to Trev, as now they race on down the hill for the final time. They're going on towards fence number 13, Double Ross, Holywell, and Cruz Linen with an top for two. Followed then by Morning Assembly. Oh, there's two or three got. Theatre Guide has gone. Theatre Guides are fallen there. And Southfield Theatre, I think, went there as well as they make their way then towards the water jump. Coming down towards the next. Double Ross just still the leader. A lot of horses finding the gallop a bit much for them. Riga Longcore is being driven towards the back. Katenko has never really got in there. Doing fine and struggling. And then on the outside as they race on towards the next. Holywell's drawing alongside these two leaders now. Double Ross and Cruz Linen who's getting right in. Carol's Destry has gone. Doing fine has gone. Great recovery by Carol Destry as rider. But he's out of the race now. They're making their way across towards the top of the hill. Towards the open ditch which is four from the finish. Double Ross is still the leader. 
leader now from on the outside Holywell and Antoine Portu, followed by Cruz Lillian, who's always been going nicely. Then the young master morning assembly, Fox Appeal. Algernon Pazam is next, the green jacket of Ballycon, then Band of Blood and O'Mainly as they cross the open ditch at the top of the hill. A mistake by Cruz Lillian, his first of the race, and now he's, begin he's on the back foot getting reminders. The three leaders are going clear now of the others. Double Ross, Holywell, the winner from 2014, and then on top for two on the outside with a loose horse perhaps getting in their way as they race on down the hill. They've got three more fences left to take. The Young Master and Morning Assembly have gone into fourth and fifth. Cruz Linen is trying to recover following that dreadful blunder. As they come down now towards the third last, the loose horse could cause them problems here. On the outside, Untompa 2 of Holywell. Then on the inside is Double Ross. Behind these then, another mistake by Cruz Linen, the Young Master and Morning Assembly getting it all the time. And now they race on down the hill. They've got two more fences left to take. And he's running away here, holy well. But so too on top for two. Who's going with him? They've drawn four lengths clear of Morning Assembly and the Young Master as they turn into the home straight. Two more fences left to go on top for two together with Holywell. Little of choose between them as they square up to the second last. On top for two and Holywell. They jump together, then it together. In third is Morning Assembly, then the Young Master and Cruz Linen. The final fence coming up now for on top for two from Holywell in second. And it's on top for two is in front as he races on up the hill in the hands of Tom Scudamore and he's finding plenty and drawing clear in the closing stages and on top or two a winner here for David Pipe and Tom Scudamore win the ultimate handicap chase Holy well a return to form in second place the young master morning assembly Cruz Linen and Algernon Pazama next and Tom two wins for Tom Scudamore and David Pipe after a slightly muted initial start, few starts over fences. And Tom two has gained his...